and welcome to a brand new game called Open Roads. We are playing the entire game in this video. It's about a massive road trip with a mother and a daughter. They've had a quite a tricky past, but they're often on a very interesting adventure. So let's check it out. It's very narrative driven. Don't expect any crazy gameplay. It's out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Switch and PC. Also available on, I believe, PC Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass as well. So yeah, lots of ways to play this game. And I'm hoping we can try and get all the trophies, all the achievements in one hit, hopefully. Let's begin. Tess, I believe Tess is the daughter. Oh, we're jumping straight in. So I can flip it. Me, mum, grandma, Helen's, grandma's HF. Wow. So I'll pack that away. Okay. Mum um, wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Okay, we got. So we got. What do you call these things? I'd like my nan had one of those. Pick up the birthday card. Can we pack that as well? Can we open it? Who's it from? So proud of you, Grandma. Ah. Simple, but... Oh, one sec. Can we definitely pack that? Yeah, pack it. Gonna pack the teddy bear. Mr. Bun. Hello, Mr. Bun. Uh, can I pack the radio? I can turn it on. Let's not turn it on. Um, is there anything under the bed? Ooh. Pack. <laughs> What's this? Hip. Hoppity hip. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ah, Nevada. I'm to all manner of folksy Can cryptids and cool dads. Not much point in me packing this. <laughs> uh, no, let's not do that. Pick up books. I forgot it. What? What, do, what does that mean? Can we open it? Yeah, it's very weird. Like, yeah, almost, looks like, almost looks like the FBS is tanked, but that's just obviously the style. Sorry for the lateness, Tess Bear. Things get in the way from me here, but you're always on my mind. We'll call soon. Can't wait, Dad. Happy he forgot his own daughter's birthday. Oh. Well, apparently he was busy. Hmm. Guess I'll have to pack Video this after next shift. Oh, that's quite a cool place to work, honestly. Um, right. What else do we need to pack? Anything in here? Friendship. <gasps> Is that a Tamagotchi? Oh. Oh, it's a right. Dead I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. I used to be obsessed with these things. Anything in here? Another birthday card? Who's this from? Uh, let's just actually read this because I can't actually read the, the writing. Uh, it's always so much fun to have you, have you visit. I can't wait until next time. I'm so proud of you, your business, and the kind of woman you're becoming. Aunt August. Definitely pack that. I don't want to miss anything. Do we have a wardrobe? Aha! We do. Yearbook! Can we read it? Can we have a look inside? That means to be nosy. One second. <laughs> I just noticed. Uh, I'm currently in the wall. Class of 2003. Wow. Anything else in here? Must be something else to pack. Plane ticket. Hmm. Better leave these where mom won't see them. Why is this a secret? Hmm. Pack that. School newspaper. Never forget marking the anniversary of 9-11, Jesus. That is a day um, I won't ever forget. That, 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 that day is scarred in my brain. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously not American, as I'm sure you can tell from my voice. My dad used to go to the Twin Towers uh, for work. Um, wasn't there, obviously, at that time, but... He could have been. Like, he used to go not often, often, but occasionally. Um, yeah. 
just ingrained in my brain. Come, we, we had to, I believe school closed early that day, even in the UK. Um, I guess in case anyone had their parents maybe in the Twin Towers, I, I don't know. Yeah, it was mad times. Oh, report card. What'd you get? A, I got a C. That's, that's not bad. Great improvement in chemistry. Geometry, so civics. Okay, health education. English, I'm guessing, is that lit? Physical ed education, she's pretty good. She ain't bad. Got some more books. What's this? Web script for Windows and Macintosh. And some hair clips. Have we packed everything? I feel like we've packed everything now, but I might be wrong. Oh, you can pop it. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, coat hangers, not packing those. Trash can? What the hell? What's this? Dementia tips for teenage grandson. What? When a beloved grandparent begins to experience. Oh, gee. Okay. Cookie bag. <laughs> okay, don't really want that. Burger kisses. Butter kisses. Sorry, I read that completely wrong. Um, anything else we can pack? Pack the rest. Uh, can I take that off yet? Close enough. I guess I'm not done then. Okay, we're not. We're not done. Uh, pick up note. Hey Tess, uh, we're doing movie night at yours. Yes, 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 we are. What movie are we bringing? It's a comedy. Double feature night. That sounds good. I'll pack that. Are these rubbers? A razors. A razors. I'm sorry. I'm in the US. We call them in the UK rubbers. <laughs> I do sometimes worry that because I'm I, I live in the UK. Like maybe my videos don't come across like they should. Obviously, Americans is the biggest audience, but yeah. Can I pack the TV? We've done that. Oh, brushes. Shall I pack that? Yes. Okay, there's a fair amount of stuff to pack, isn't there? Yep. That's been packed now as well. Is there anything under here? The plant. Can I pack the plant? Apparently not. What have I forgot then? Uh, maybe some notes. Ah. The hunt for buried bootlegger treasure. Ooh. Is that the dad? I don't know. I've got a daughter. I'm sure you guys know. She's four. I couldn't imagine that like, working away and being away for weeks. I could be away for a couple of days. I, I, I know it really does depend on your situation, doesn't it? I feel bad, sort of. Being like, yeah, you stay with your daughter the whole time. It's, it's, it's not. I know life isn't that quite like that. Right, what have I forgot? I feel like I've got everything now. Ah, oh, there's more posters. Okay. Man, you have to pack up everything, don't you? <laughs> what have I forgot, though? It's meant to be like an achievement for this. Or a trophy, and I haven't got it yet. So if it, I can't open these boxes. What have I forgot? What have I forgot? Uh, hmm. Definitely can't pack this. Ah, one second. Oh, that's a good picture. I've done it. I think I did it. I think I packed it all. Give me a trophy. <laughs> I got a gold trophy for that? I mean, stuff was fairly well hidden, but sure. So I feel like we've completely packed our room now. So we can uh, officially cross it off the list. All done. That's satisfying. It's always nice when you have a list. And you get through it. It is It is good. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! What of the living hell is that? Oh, that was dialogue. I love <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize. It. 
You can select Where it. did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... Why am I weird. Them? Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff... I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah. Me neither. That sounds really nice. Just... looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture... The eyes. Amazing that no one bought it, right? <laughs> just shocking. Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Yep, all done. Okay. Well, just remember that everything's got to be packed by Wednesday, so we can get it all out of here on time. I know. Most of Grandma's Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate, the estate sale. Um, I haven't really had the chance to look around and see what's left until now. So not only did they uh, lose their grandmother or lose their mum, um, they, I'm guessing they were in debt and they were forced to sell the house and sell the products and whatever's inside, basically. What have we got left? A mallet. Great. A calculator. A pen. Oh, one sec. What's this ID? Property inspector. Oh, great. What Grandpa an Leo was a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> inspector for the oh. county. Sorry. What's that sorry. mean? Mix up. He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical... Fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Is this serious? It is serious. Gotta be careful. What the hell is that? Our oh, pen holder. Why is it vibrating? I have no idea. Can I put it like so it's like flat? No. Oh. I guess not. <laughs> Can you put your pencils in there? Right, what else we got? Got a lot of paint. Oh, what's this? Okay. After 43 years on Orange Street, Greenville, died July 28th, 1968. He was a veteran of the Second World War, serving as a surveyor with the 173rd Field Artillery Batoon. Scouting our enemies from the front lines. What a man! What a man. That was obviously her grandpa. A very talented man, it sounds like. Very clever. What else we got? Got a brush and a. Lovely. A lot of paint. Fire extinguisher. Lots of cleaning detergents and stuff. <gasps> Ooh, so dapper. dapper was this dapper, Grandpa's? Dapper. I'm guessing it was. Can we not take it? And a book. Dear Millie, what's this? Well, Grandma's who? advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah, I mean, 
People in the audience seem so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Three? What the hell? That's crazy. Actually, can we open it? Ooh. Feel, feel free to read that if you want to. Yeah, we always have that... Oh, I fun though. We always have that one family member or friend that's really good at giving advice. I still can't believe this drawing. That is... That is terrifying. <laughs> that is going to shock me for the rest of my life. Fuse box. Looks like it's operational. Alright. That's the basement done. I don't know if I missed anything. Mum? What's happening? We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. I'm really bad at reading people's uh, handwriting. Glad I had you there. So supportive my baking skills. Yeah, to supervise my baking skills. Is that an apple? Oh, we're moving out now anyway, so... Just leave it open. <laughs> ah! Coffee. What's funny is on the floor? No, I'm not. Dried tomatoes. No! Why isn't this in the fridge getting cold? Oh. Come on, Mom. Yeah, that's amateurs. You can't... What, what are you doing? You can't beat cold fizzy drink hey oh. were you born in a barn close what? the fridge sorry yes what's mother? in there it's an apple it's literally oh okay sweet i got an achievement for that okay so we're really careful i don't want to miss any all right what do we do now back what the hell was that what was that i swear i had something really weird I don't know what the, um, that's not me, though. I don't know why it's doing that. That's my controller's playing up. Hey, man. Wow. Was this, was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Oh, it's the exact table. Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. Very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Yeah. Anything else for us to interact with? Cigarettes. Does the mum smoke? Ugh, mom. Please Extra quit already. Mild. Yeah, smoking is hideous vapors are hideous i'm sorry if you do smoke or whatever like you do you i'm not gonna lex you but oh i've how did never this even end up down here tried it <laughs> huh. must have been in a drawer of something that got sold this is from one of the first digs dad and i went on oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs i remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold or at least a clue about it <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> oh. Well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. It's good to have a good imagination. I'm not a big fan of, like, children when they have, like, imaginary friends and they're, like, talking to them. I find that a little bit weird. <gasps> the trash! Oh. Tess, what are you doing? Don't touch What's, that. What, what do you Why mean? Why not? It's in the trash. Oh, yeah, come on. and I'm just checking it out. Well, stop. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry. What? Honestly, this game is giving me like the easiest achievements ever. What the hell? Trophies even. Yeah, it sounds like. Oh, I'm is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made? Yep. 
after her fine motor skills started to go. It's still kind of beautiful. It is. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. She's very, um, clearly very, um, artistic. Very good with her hands. I don't mean that in a weird fat way. But all the colors. This is an incredible room, isn't it? Wow. Bit dirty dancing there. Oh, good. Some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. Yeah, no, I, not that I know of. Awkward! Awkward! Stop talking! Stop talking. This is very awkward. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that conversation. Did my grandma find a new man? It is interesting in that situation. Some people are just done. Like they're not interested in finding anyone else. Some want to... I don't think that'd be the, maybe the same as like their first like proper long-term relationship, marriage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Gonna get myself into trouble. Yeah, so it seems like, I was gonna say this earlier, it seems like Xbox is backtracking a little bit. What the living hell oh, was hey. that? That's the it's fun. It's August. <laughs> Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... That's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What's that about? What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not going to help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Aunt August called Mum, looking for some book that's important for her. It's probably some reason. It's probably somewhere upstairs. Okay, let's have a look. So obviously that's Tessie's room. Is it? She's called Tess, right? Oh, this isn't Tessie's room. This is whose room is this? Okay, pills. <sighs> Guess we can get rid of these. Hmm. More pills. There's some weird, like, I don't know, like, also looking thing that's annoying, but not. I don't think this game's gonna be for everyone, for sure. Like, it's very narrative driven. Appetizers, lovely. Um, I don't think the art style is gonna be for everyone as well. Okay. Do I see myself? I do not. There. Ooh. Dear readers, it's been a delight, an honor, and a privilege to write to you over the years. A few people are lucky enough to say they love their job, and I'm grateful to be one of them. I'll say so signing out. Oh, that's quite sad. Wanna know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. Ah. I did. You did? Holy moly. Were you nervous? Were you I nervous? Be, I'll be bricking uh, it. A little, I guess. 
I definitely didn't feel like I could live up to Millie. But it was just for one column. Her editor helped a lot. I'm glad I got to do it. That's kind of cool. Obviously, she wasn't in a con <coughs> sorry in a condition where she could potentially help on that front. I don't think books in here, right? Unless I'm tripping. Maybe in here. Ah, oh, this must be her room. I'm look at this artwork. Wow. Ah, is this the book? That's not I the book. am the very model of a modern major general. Ah, la 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 da, 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 mineral. What are you saying? What are you singing? Please stop. So much stuff is gone already, or packed, I guess. Where's this book? I can't find it. Where is it gonna be? What the heck is that? Oh, oh is that like um, What's a hook to this? reach things? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August's book be up in the attic with Grandma's Good things? Good point. Could be. All right, we can go up there, but. You go first. <laughs> An old attic, or we call them lofts in the UK, can be um, kind of kind of scary. My one in my house isn't too bad because it's quite new. And I sort of know what's up there and it's all right. Where's, ah, there's the hatch. Let's do it. I'm coming up. Okay, come on up. <coughs> Damn, mm. it's dusty. Now, where's Some that book? Random assortment of stuff here. Where is that book? Book, book, book. Where are you? A bowling trophy? What? Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. <laughs> bowling shirts? Are you kidding me? Oh, should we agree? I'm, I'm, why not? He was hip. He's right. They are hip. There we go. Hip and cool like, yep. um, like a guy in a ska band would wear or something. Ska? It's... Um. What? It's the music that's cool kids like. Exactly. It's well, on second thought, maybe it's not cool. You know what? Forget it. This music's cool. It's cool music. It's uh, this music that cool yeah. kids at school like. It has like trumpets and stuff in it. And the guys wear fedoras and sunglasses and dress shoes and stuff. And I, I, I think like bowling shirts. Like dad. Ska is cool like dad. I see. Anything else? <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, she might disagree. <laughs> Maybe. Eh, awkward. What's this? Whoa. Is that the wedding, oh, wedding dress? Wedding dress? Oh. I wore it on my wedding day too. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. Definitely. Definitely. I knew you would. Well, <laughs> you didn't know. Oh. I knew. I've always thought this was such a beautiful dress, and I'd always wanted to hand it down to you. Like your grandmother handed it down to me. Those sound like you reasons. Well, you just said you definitely want to wear it for your wedding, so I guess there are you reasons, too. Uh-oh. <sighs> what? Uh, Mom, do you ever think maybe sometimes I just say things I know you want me to say? Um, I can't say that's a bit deep. Nothing. To Nothing. Worry. It's a really nice dress. Let's just keep looking around. Awkward. I thought they, they seemed like they were getting on quite well, but I guess not. I thought it was a rat. Jesus. Just dust. Oh! What's under here? I think I found the books. Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here, but 
Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... What the...? Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? That's weird. What's this? Okay, forget the book. <laughs> I found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it there? What the? Why? Why would she hide it there? What's in it? Do we have it out yet? We do. Oh. Just pictures? Oh. Ah, oh, this cash. is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. I don't think there's gonna be any treasure there, but I mean we can have a look. What? This is the most a random assortment of stuff you will ever see, ever. Question one. Recently one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married, apparently. Her college butte and her tied the knot. Without my knowledge. Well, well, well. She claimed that they wanted to skip the wedding to save up for a house. So I'm very hurt by these by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage found in secrecy will never last? Dun dun dun. Um, half the battle of being a parent is allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell if the marriage will stick. And the only thing you can do to make it is to make the best of it. Consider the weight um, your daughter's been under keeping this under wraps we all have our secrets myself included and oh she got a secret what, what secret hmm we all have our secrets myself included and i would not be able to tell even our closest loved ones can feel absolutely suffocating while it can be hard to see a child make such a foolish mistake in brackets mm -mm, the best thing a mother can do is to bite her tongue that's fair, I think. Did Grandma fair. write these? During the last summer, we visited the cottage. Was she... Some good advice, by okay. the way. Looks like her editor didn't think she was. It was only a year after my father died. I think Millie was still figuring things out, too. It must have been hard. I'm sure it was. They had been married 20 years? I'm, I meant for you. Oh, right. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That doesn't seem very healthy. It got me through. Sometimes you, wanna, you don't want to just like scrape through. There's a few mistakes there, isn't there? Such a foolish mistake. Too harsh. Rewrite. Is that harsh? Rocks. Why is there colored rocks? What's these, you know, what are these weird little rocks? Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Rest in peace. Nixon! Vote Nixon! I'm not going to touch on politics right now, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I find it mad. Uh, Righty. We'll be together soon. I love you. And we're all, we are going to love our new life together. 
free and happy. That's nice. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Yep. Was Grandma Helen... All the passion. In some kind of secret relationship? Cheating on Grandpa? Planning to run off with this guy? <gasps> Planning to run off with this guy? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue. Grandma, what were you up to? Was Grandma naughty? I don't believe it. Perhaps she was doing dirty dancing. Pot diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think Ooh. we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. Well, the pencil's I'm dead. In it. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, just a peek. Okay, go on in. Just wires. Okay. Aren't any help. What do you mean, aren't any help? Think they are being uh, good neighbours, but if anyone should know where the path of good intentions lead, it's these church ladies. The children carry on the best they can. Oprah was caught up in her own teenage dramas, as usual, almost as if I, it were any normal summer. August does worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her, but there's so much I can't say. What? What is going on here? It's becoming a challenge keeping the correspondence with XXXXX concealed. It's only a matter of time till we're together again, in person. But to hold it all inside, to not tell herself it's almost too much. What is... She is definitely cheating. And I know, soon enough, the waiting will be over. And this will all be in the rear view. She's definitely cheating. The space for writing messages. Forget the past, Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. What the hell? Jesus. <gasps> There's a key. What is this? The so, secret key. Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is... A and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Is it the summer house? Something at the summer home, I assume. Ooh. Okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. We 100% have to go. 100%. Yeah, got to do To it. find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. We've got a week still. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> I can't see it. You know, <laughs> a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. Oh we boy, can really let's go. use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. <laughs> Problem. Oh, we're in the car. We're on the road to a secret home to find what the deal is with Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we may find? This is this is interesting. I am definitely ready. Let's do it. Hey, mom. 
When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> I guess she's forgot. <laughs> so a long, so a super long time ago. So, a super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? Ouch! And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you... Well, I'm guessing it's to do with this mystery man. Why did we never go there? Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? Um, he's a man of leisure. He's a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's gotta be falling apart. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, you're right. That sucks. It could still be in good shape. If, the, if miracles happen. I do find nature does tend to take over It could over still there. be in good shape. Yeah. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, like, you know, like, shoe elves. <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape, considering we need a new place to live. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's, you couldn't live there, and not, not year round. Why not? Why, well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. So it's gonna get very cold. Fine. Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Because it feels like we're about to be living in the car. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? We need money. We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. <sighs> if Dad was still here... Excuse me? He, he could help. Pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Ooh. Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west. For work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... Work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. 
If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him. Like I always did. He found someone else. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. You idealize your father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Lovely. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Um, okay. In the glove compartment. Ooh, does this work? Is it okay if I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but... Yeah, sure. Let's try and find a station, then. As long as it doesn't give me any, uh... Ooh! Any copyright strikes. Who's that? Huh? What the hell is this? It makes me uncomfortable. I think it's a number station. Is that... Is that something from, like, the oh, X-Files? Uh, maybe? Car radios can pick them up in the middle of nowhere. Some people think it's a secret coded government message. Whoa. Maybe if we decode it, we can find out where they're hiding the aliens. <laughs> you get right on that. The truth is out there. Based off that last com what the hell is a trophy for that? What's in me back? What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. What why is it not safe? Oh god. Oh, the radio station went away. Yeah, we're pretty far out here. Maybe I'll see if I can find anything else. Oh, it's still working, isn't it? Tess, will you stop doing that? <laughs> doing what? You know exactly what you were doing. You were being annoying, and pretending like you don't know what it is is just more annoying. Uh, I apologize. Okay? I can't stop being annoying. I can't stop being annoying if you don't tell me what I was doing. Yes, you can. I've seen you not be annoying before. When? Not any time recently, now that you mention it. Just cut it out, will you? Okay, fine. Jesus. Tensions are pretty... What? Does this bug you? Seriously? I got... What? Oh. Yes, <laughs> you said you'd stop it. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, what? Stop what? Tess, do you know the concept of tuck and roll? It's what you're going to need to do when I throw you out of this car going 50 miles an hour. Oh, that's... Now cut it out. In. Great Ooh, parents. Fine, here. fine, I'm sorry. I we tend to do this again, actually. But what if I start being annoying again? Then I'm just going to ignore you. Oh. Or throw you out of the car. Which one's Either it gonna way, be? Why don't we just not find out? I'm, I'm really tempted to do this again. <laughs> I'm the worst child ever. Right, anyway. Just turn that off. Right, oh, it was, um. Oh man, yeah. You used to have to print out the instructions. Jeez, I'm old. I'm very old. Oh yeah, the um phone. Whose phone is this? Hey, Tess Bear. Just thinking of you. What? Easy to forget. Uh, weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. So he's working a lot. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. How's work going? Good. Making money. There we go. See? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if Mum told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for Mum to pay the rent of a new place. Oh, boy. Uh, I love Sukir, but right now, my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work. Oh. Oh. Great. 
Without sinking my business out here, you know I would. But your mum always been smart. The smart one. She'll figure things out, don't worry. Really? He's got all of his money tied up. He's got nothing available. Do you tell your mum you bought the tickets? Oh, yeah. How did she afford that, by the way? Not yet. Me and mum actually on a road trip right now. We're investigating a family mystery. I'm going to an old summer house. Can you believe it? Wow, you need to tell her. What? Yeah, I need to tell her. Or else I will. And you know she would freak. Okay, okay. I promise I will. I know you will. Love you. Actually have to get back to it now. Treat your mum nice, okay? Love you. He seems like a pretty good dad to me, apart from the money side of things. He seems to care. Are you sending text messages to someone? Um, yes. Yes? Yes, I am. To who? It's Daddy. to whom, mother? It was dad. <laughs> hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to. Is she looking at the road? Her eyes are closed. Are we there yet? Is, this is the summer house. You've got to be kidding me. But this is the summer house. Mom! Oh. My God. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> it definitely and is. it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> a little more... Bashed up. Um, falling apart. Of a, that's a bit harsh. Run down. Run down. Weathered. Yes. Yeah, than it. the last time Weathered. I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. Is it 35 years? This isn't exactly what I pictured when mum said she had a summer home. Well, I, it's always is what I pictured because they haven't been here for ages. There's probably lots of cool stuff inside from when mum was a teen and hopefully some clues as to the identity of grandma's Helen's mystery man. Ooh. Ooh, naughty Helen. She's watched too much dirty dancing, I tell ya. That's what it was. Doing pottery. Is this a... Uh, is this a trailer home? Is it's it a, trailer? a mobile home. Oh. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. It's harder to move. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. <laughs> We've all been there. Okay, this place looks freaking weird. Man, you can tell no one's been here for like years. Wow. Is that a gun? What the? Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me at the fair. Kurt? Kurt? We, well, we met at the drive in diner. <gasps> You had a summer fling? <laughs> I, well... Mother! Was he cute? <laughs> I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It, well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> so cool. He was very romantic. Oh, I bet oh, he was. No. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, God. Ugh. 
No. Jeez. So what happened? Did you break up with him or? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. Kind of cute though. And look at this. Jeez. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? Is this place safe? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. We can go well, round. what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch? For getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space... We could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Yeah. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. I guess that's where we're going next. A freaking water heater fell through the wall and you can't get around it. Damn. But if we can find a way into that hatch, we can make this work. I know it. This place feels so cool, though. Oh, drawing. What's this? Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night or stay in the shade. As I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Well, I guess we should look for a way... Oh, what's, what's this? A pamphlet. Lots of nice little details in this game. Pamphlets. It really does feel like a... It sort of captured the era of when, obviously, when this was left. And, yeah, I don't know. Some cool, uh, some cool details. This kitchen does not look good. It would have been kind of cool to have, like, um... Is that another key? Another key. Ooh, a little tiny key. For what? What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh, maybe a desk drawer. True. We found a tiny key. Hmm. Suspicious. Look at that. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to like leave a building and then sort of like film it as it deteriorates over time. Maybe. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Do not have a key for that. Uh, so where's the, the hatch? Did they have a dog? There's another door here. Oh, this one's locked as well. So was the hatch inside the actual building? Look at that scarecrow. Oh, you ain't gonna scare now, are ya? You're not scaring anyway. Oh. 
What's this? Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Get harder. You have to grin and bear it. I don't know. One sec. Does that key open up this door? No. So the hatch is. Is this side? I thought it was the other side. Uh, how do you get to the other side? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, so it's through here. Ah, that was sneaky. So this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. <laughs> I. So this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. I'll do You're alone probably then. too frail to get in here anyway. Those Ooh. creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. <laughs> See you on the other side. Oh, that was me. We made it! Oh my god, this is weird. Is, are we homosexual? This is safe. So I'm going to turn into like a horror, is it? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> ah! uh, that would be completely unexpected. I think they should do that as like a, a game at one point. A game that seems like so pleasant and delightful and just a family adventure. And then it goes a little bit pear-shaped very quickly. Ooh, Got some postcards. This is good. Mom's got to see this. Right. I'm writing to you from our new home, right on the water. I was looking and looking. I realized there's no better home for us than we could just pull up an anchor and split if we really needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. It really is something else. Bought it from the old fellow who kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years. There's a rumor they're going to, they're going down, what? There's a rumor they're going to dam this river, sorry. Um, but that's a long time coming. It happens, if it happens at all. Now, just get, sorry, I'm doing terrible reading. I think it's the text. Sometimes, sometimes I've certain font I just can't seem to read. <laughs> now, just to get you and those kids moved up here, I hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly. And let's make some plans for the big move. Ooh, naughty, naughty, naughty. Helen, what do you like? Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. What? Yeah, some reason, I have certain like texts and I can take it though. I'll take those. I think this is the hatch. Certain Mom, comments I found and a way stuff. in. Read Hang on, I'll open the back door. Don't know why. So hey, Mom, my atrocious I reading. found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat. Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well, it looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. 
can't see much of the surrounding area. See it's near Slat Mountain trees? in the background. Yeah, Maybe trees. we That's can look for see. some of those. A place in Canada with trees. <laughs> that narrows it that down. That narrows it down. Yeah. Oh, we are really screwed. Are we on the we're on the other side, okay. Nice. Go mechanics! Oh man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. Triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. I'm not going to be a triple legacy. I'm not going to be a triple <laughs> legacy. <laughs> no. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not going to be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Fine. Be like that. Just be like that. Oh, so I have a key oh, down there. Oh, how fun. Wait, did they not get to use these? I guess not. Is that another key? How many keys do I want? Yoink. This looks like it's for a car or something. Oh, that's the key to my old van out front. August was always stealing the keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. Well, well. Look who's going to be messing with your stuff now. Your daughter. I found the key to mother's old van. Uh, it may not run anymore. But I bet it's got some cool hippie stuff inside. Maybe. The mean boys. Oh, God. Do I want to read this? One day, August rode her bike to town. Because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind. Under the trees. Because he lives in the shade, in the shadow. And can't go in the sun. August laughed as Nightingale rung along under the trees and Nightingale made jokes together. When August and Nightingale got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tire and they made her safe. But it didn't make her safe from... Okay. Oh, boy. This Poor is, kid. Is Did she get made fun of a lot? She got At picked school on. and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. It's a shame because I don't think kids realize when they are bullying, it has like an impact on the rest of their life. It's not like a, a one day thing and it, it's done. Like It has a, a massive impact on their lives. Believe me, I know. Uh, the mean boys came closer. They said... Who are you talking to? Uh, it's a bit weird when you're talking into thin air. Uh, and what are you wearing, stupid? August said, my dad's tie. The mean boys said, your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and they laughed. August looked for Nightingale, but Nightingale couldn't help because he was trapped in a shade under a tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree of Nightingale. August's special tire was all dirty. She gave Nightingale a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. Oh no. That's horrible. I feel really bad now. I feel really bad. Ugh. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. What's this? Another note. Um, I don't know if I agree with this advice. Oh, I can't really read it. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? Oof. I don't know if that's what she meant. 
It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. I'm feeling just bad for August, honestly. Dear August, you were upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You need time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right too. But upset as you are, you need to remember boys only tease girls because they like them, or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best advice I've ever heard. But, sure. Close this drawer. Oh. What is this? I think I found a treasure map. Next to the dog's house. Oh, we've seen it already. Okay, we can definitely do that. Look! Look what I found! I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. I hope so. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. That's a very good idea. Let's do it. Right, and we're done in here. What other rooms we got? Ooh. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. Do we have a key? I think, look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in go. the glove box of my okay. van. Nice. It's probably a little bit rusty, but that's fine. Uh, oh, what's in here? Ooh. Who's that? Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress Damn. at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. If those movies were based on reality, you know. I just go. <laughs> you say. are cute! Yeah! Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're a uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my. Hot mom. Oh. You didn't know about okay. this? What? No! I am not. Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's mm. great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat and I think we should keep it. Sure, why not? Hot mom alert. Well, we got a trophy for it, I guess. The waiter skater. We need to find this treasure, by the way. One million percent. So it should be just here, right? Yes. I knew it! You ready to unearth this mystery? Let's do you it. You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. What is it? What? What is that? Okay. Is that Nightingale again in August? Maybe. Goodbye, Nightingale. Thank you for being. Oh no, it's like a sort of good. It's, oh, what? I feel bad now. I do feel a bit bad. So this is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. It is quite what? sad. I don't know. 
Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. Um... I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Ooh. Damn, okay. Got another gold trophy. I wonder if I've missed one yet. Right, so we need to go to the van and get a flat screwdriver. Right, flat head screwdriver. So try and get into that room. Is that an iron board? Why is it out here for? <laughs> I would imagine someone has definitely driven past here, maybe stayed here for the night or something. Or, I don't know. We should have to get in here, shouldn't we? Yes. Oh, look oh what I found. it's everything I'd imagined. Oh boy. It's got an ugly lamp. <laughs> the guitar. Perfect. <laughs> oh, what? A concerning scent yep. of mold? mold I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Ooh. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. What stuff is in here? Do I want to know? Do I want to know? Guitar with the little um, little little, uh, little flowers on it, of course. What's this? Wow, mom was even into theater back then, huh? Hmm. Got some vinyls. Oh god, what's this? Wow, brutal, Lori. Brutal. Are what? you getting my letters? Can't I haven't heard from you since. You told me about Kurt. I've been writing to you every week. Things up at the park are lame. All the fun people left, and now it's just me. Gordon and the dorks. Oh, Jesus, a bit deep. Uh, if I don't get anything back, I'm going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess. Unless I'm too busy. Laurie. Is that her... My friend, I guess? A school from Scandal. That nail varnishes? What's that? Imagine if this could randomly get dark. Um, I haven't seen any... Flathead screwdrivers. Have you? Ah, oh, one sec. Aha! Well, well, well. Oh, the letter in here. What's this? Holy shit. Babe! This summer has been real out there. Real out there. But I've got to split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike. Head to the cow. Look me up if you're ever out that way, Kurt. Oh wow, he just he just we just went. Ah. So that was a summer fling. Hmm. I don't think it ended mutually. Find anything? Nope. Well I found um Ah, uh, this note from Kurt. This You guys didn't just Drift apart at the end of the summer, well, did he you? he did. <laughs> no. He went. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. Gee, that is cold. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that vanished. sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I'd put all my energy into plans. Planning how we'd be able to stay together. Planning how our life was going to be. Planning... 
how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this... I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Bam. (sighs) I was going to say maybe go to Cali. I mean, you're single. You haven't got got too many responsibilities. You could go and find him. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, Well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me Uh what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So you just shouldn't have friends or relationships? What are you saying? So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? No, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. Well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened with you and Dad splitting up? I don't think I ever discussed this. He always makes it sound like like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, oh. I mean, I... Oh. If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Thanks, Mum. Great. What a great lesson. Well, I've great got lesson. the screwdriver. Good. That's good. I'm not sure that's the best wisdom to share with your daughter, if I'm being completely honest. Um, it's not what I want to say to my daughter. Don't be okay alone. Don't trust anyone. Is that, do you really? No friends, no... Relationships, no love, no. What sort of, sort of stupid comment is that? I think this Kurt guy really, really hurt her a lot. Ah, door, we meet again. Let's do it. But this time, I'm ready for you. Oh, yes, we are. We're in. Hey, good work. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Just busted it open. Oh, there's going to be some memories in here. I'll tell you that right now. A box of tissues. Great, not quite what I meant. Oh, it's my fan, look. My only fan. <laughs> um, look closer. Is it is that we can maybe open that? Easter goose. Oh. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did grandma have? <sighs> um, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well... Let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Oh. That's a good idea. We could smash it. We could smash it. The little key? From Grandma's diary? (gasps) Right. This has been quite a mystery. Ooh, what's this? What the hell? Helen, you can't just leave me here. I do all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. What? What? Pierre. What? What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. Huh? Uh, I... Was Grandpa Leo not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. How? Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. Worth a go, right? We should go and check it out. 
We should go check it out. What? Your no. dad could be still be alive. No, but... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, <sighs> stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's true. The house can wait a day. We're going to pass up a trip to Canada? <sighs> this is your father we're talking about exactly. here. This is important. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just going to turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. <laughs> I just happen to agree with you. Oh. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it. And who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Man, I am so confused. About what happened. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not understand. Um, Helen, so sorry to about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Right, where now, I guess? Are we leaving? What did it say? Time to hit the road. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I think we're done here. Yep. Let's go, baby. All right. Time to order that room service. Uh... This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, alright. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh! Um... Burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework. I knew I shouldn't have brought the backpack. God damn it. How annoying. Did I get a message? Um, did I get a message? Who's this? Oh! Hope you had a good day. Maybe some uh, late work tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always. Hi, Dad. 
What's up? Um, across the Canadian border. Wanted to say hi. Um, what for? We found some clues in Grandma and Grandpa's old summer house, and we think there might be more to find at another place across the border. So we're going to check it out. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Can't wait to hear about it all once you're back. I had a question about you and Mum. Yeah. Well, you always said Mum wanted to leave. And that's why you're not living together. But Mum said you you were the one that wanted to leave. I'm so confused. Oh, boy. Well, I'd say it was mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here and had to take it. I understood why your mum didn't want to come along. And that's okay. Hmm. I'd argue that's probably more on the mum, maybe? That's why you left home and quit Video Galaxy and everything? It's not the same without you here. Or at the store. Ha! Huh. I'm sure the store is even better without me. Who wants their dad as their boss? Good point. Where'd the store... Aww. The window display and the Halloween costume contest and the movie... Uh, quote, trivia. The manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? You know, I headed out um, here for a new business adventure. Um, I'm in the investment stage. Can't wait to tell you more. I won't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pan out. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell you more. Remember, when you were a little and you worked on that book you drew, me for weeks and wouldn't let me peek at it till it was all done. I've still got that book right here with me. And you didn't want to see it till you had it all perfect. Alright. You still have it? Yeah. I never parted with it. He seems like a good dad, honestly. I don't want to disappoint you by jumping the gun. You understood, don't you, kid? Kiddo? Yeah, I can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to go back to it. Love you too. What's this? Frankie, we survived the abandoned summer home. Was it haunted? Very. It was very, very haunted. Oh my god. How many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts. The place was packed full of them. I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mum react to you? Um, telling her about Nevada? Shut up! I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna. And she will let me go. Just do it now, okay? I will, I will when, she's, when, when it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, uh, did you find out what you're looking for? Yes and no? We're heading to Canada tomorrow. What? We found some stuff. Um, my grandpa might have been... So what's that? About who my grandpa might have been. Okay, yep. We're going to see if we can find out a bit more. What? You might be part Canadian? Maybe. Got maple syrup running through my blood. I'll call you and tell you in a bit when we're home. Reception out here is really bad. It's three bars. It's fine. All right. It's old and vintage, and my mum's getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. Well, have you looked around the motel? Is there any weird things in there? Probably. There's probably loads of weird things. Um, okay, who wants to hear about some of the weird stuff? We can do that. Weird stuff. What's weird in this? Tissues? Is that weird? Where does the camera? Oh, I wanted to look at the leaflet. Oh, Ooh, a visitor's guide. Ooh. Oh. Um. Hmm. There's not much to do. Where's my burger? That's what I want. 
Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments so far. So I think it's about fifteen ninety nine UK pounds. So I'm guessing like twenty dollars maybe. Uh, I don't think it's the longest game as well. I think we're coming towards the end, so I wouldn't say it's. Mm. I don't know. Oh, hello. The Holy Bible. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely in America. There's literally nothing. Absolutely nothing in this hotel. Is this weird? No. I don't really know what to text her, honestly. Mm-hmm. Notify the blah, blah, blah. Be aware. Da, da, da. Be sure. Da, da. Got it. So we're in... Two falling. Toiletries. You don't say there's anything particularly noteworthy. <gasps> I brought my towel from home. What? Yeah. My own towel is named Dot Softness. Oh no, honey. <laughs> it's soft. Soft as a bird. Yeah. Aren't all towels? I can guarantee uh, not, all, not all towels are soft. When they get old, they can be really rough. They are horrible. I mean, they weren't just hanging um, when we got here. I cleaned them and hanged them up for you. Did they? Yes. This is this honestly about a towel. That's what it feels like. Is she back yet? I guess I went to find something else that's weird. Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Doing a, a Ross from Friends. Uh, toilet, great bin. Am I missing something? Oh. Oh, how lovely! Dirt flavored water. No thanks. Okay, not a fan. Oh! Does it work? It doesn't work. Great. Seriously. Um, do your homework until mum comes home. Sure, I guess. We're gonna get it all done. Hey, it's burger time. The How's TV's that still in the coming background. Along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid what a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer moves? house? Mobile what home. Happened? Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. Where's me burger? Yes. Burger, 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 burger. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Man, she was hungry. <laughs> yep, I did clean my plate. Finish the homework? I did. Do you think, could dad have... Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How... Do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and mom. I just think, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's like seeing a whole new side of grandma now that she's gone. Yeah, I was still pretty young when our dad died, so I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never, 
really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can, can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Love you too, Anne August. What the... What the hell? So we could just... What? I'm so confused. We could just stay with her, be fine. Uh, I've got to help my dad with dinner. Have a good drive to Canada. So that's done. My homework definitely isn't done. Where did mum go? And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah... Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. Where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel.
Oh no. What? My cell phone. Oh no. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Oh no. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. Well, this isn't good, is it? Uh, we have to go back and get it. We have to go back and get it. I need my phone. Um, let's just stay calm. The top response. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. An hour is a long time. It's not that long, though, is it? It might be gone if we don't go back for it. Hmm. Francine's going to be worried. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll, it we'll might be back, gone right? if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Oh. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you your... You know, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? About the whole dad thing, okay? Um, yeah, we did notice the pills in our suitcase. So, I actually missed a, um, a trophy or an achievement back there. So, I will try and go back to that chapter and get the achievement um, at the end of the video. Um, I believe there was something to do with pills in that chapter. I don't quite know how it works, but anyway. Um, you don't tell me... Um, you didn't tell me we could stay with August. That is true. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. The house? There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't going to sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. I'm sorry. You asked August to buy the house, and you're upset because she didn't buy the house for you, but she offered for, like a place for you to stay. What more do you want from her? Jesus. If you and Dad were still together, where do you think we'd be right now? Hmm. Why are you so dis disinterest in disinterested in my business? Why don't you like August? There must be a reason, right? Why don't you like August? Excuse me. What? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not going to be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder dad Ooh. left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad, actually talk about dad for once? The divorce, the- I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. 
Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Is that what he's actually up to? He's just a full-time gambler? I thought it's like some big shot, an entrepreneur. Anyway, not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with mum. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to have to sit here in silence until we get to this stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic, all right? The road warrior. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. It's all very... I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in. See what we can find about Pierre and get out before I change Hopefully my mind. Hopefully Pierre's rich. Agreed. Let's hope so. All our problems are gone. It's always about money, isn't it? I hate money. Well, looks like we've finally made it to the, ho the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, a.k.a. Pierre. Whatever we find here better be worth it. Agree. Right, let's have a look around. What are we looking for? Funny, you never see like, the mum following. She's always just invisible, <laughs> somehow. This doesn't. This looks worse than the um, the holiday home thingy. It's in terrible shape. Hello, Pierre. So why is someone throwing that through a window? Is that? Ooh. Dried blood? Oh, ew. Ew, ew, ew. Why on earth did I just touch that? I have no idea. Why did you touch that? Put it back down. Um, <laughs> fishing rods. A bottle of water. <gasps> oh my god. Definitely worth it. Some fishing lure thingies. I used to be fishing a long, long time ago. Back when I was a wee teenager. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I found it quite relaxing. Ooh! <gasps> Pierre! Which is his name? Here. Looks like we're on the right track. But where is he now? Please remember, please remember, this is a shared facility. Ah. For all residents who fish out of their boats on the docks, if you borrow equipment to clean, or repair your catch, return it to its storage space. This means you, Pierre. He sounds like he's a bit of a naughty man. Doesn't clean up after himself. How dare you. More dirty plates, lovely. There is another building. We could look in. How do we get to it, How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Oh, good point. We want to get across to the boat. We try to jump the gap, we break our sheen bones. That is a good point. Do like a uh, Tom Cruise style. Is, it, is, it, is this useful? There you go. This is so stupid. It's like Last of Us. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? 
Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted or... or... But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. Huh? No, you can't go in without me. Right, Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> All right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across Ooh. a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. Um, Tails. Tails. I lost? What? In a manner of speaking. Uh, after you. All right. Here I go. She falls off. I don't know if it was Careful. so bad. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah. This thing is pretty sturdy. <laughs> Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. All right, let's go and find some clues. Do, do, do. I must admit, the um, the voice acting in this is is very well done, incredibly well done. The two main characters do a very very good job. It's locked. Damn it. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I money. seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to. Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> All right, pretty sturdy. It's a pretty sturdy door. Uh, Pierre's office <clears throat> um, could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course it's locked, because nothing is ever easy. Tell me about it. That's life for you, isn't it? Oh, hello. Kind of kinky. Wow, cool. Is this like a Playboy magazine? Tess, don't touch that. Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. Ugh. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like, <sighs> never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really, put that down. We can't have a read. <laughs> Where's more pages? Why am I so keen? All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, a letter. Oh, one sec. Helen. <gasps> what? What is it? A letter from Grandma. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where we were rich. One where you and Dad are- oh, okay. All right. One where you and Dad were still together? Okay. <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. I do have an alternative. Tess is now a lot older. Um, Grandma has died. And it could work. If you actually liked each other like a lot before this whole fiasco, like, why, why couldn't it work? I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat. It's romantic for living right uh, right on the water. But don't you don't you suppose it might be a bit small for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? Ah. I'm not sure she's completely on board. Are you sure there's no other way? Oh. 
Rejected. Is that is that wow. Gima? <laughs> this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? What? Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Huh. That's true, yeah. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Smooth. I don't think I can go over there. Okay, let's have a look around. How can I open up that door? An old fashioned cool. key, maybe? Nobody to spy on, though. No, there's nothing to look at. It's completely blank. Receipt. Oh, what's this? One second. Received from Mr. Pierre. 3,000 in exchange for the houseboat. Pay 3,000 for this. What's that? Tank of gas, postcards, lunch, motel, breakfast. Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending $6 on a steak lunch. Or $7 for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah. I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. It is a lot. <gasps> a captain Boy, hat. Really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? <laughs> Good point. I don't I don't know if it did or not, honestly. Is that what's that? A lighter? He was a smoker, I'm guessing. Cats in sunglasses, smoked. I bet Pierre was a right little, I don't know, what, how, do I, how do I say it? A right guy. <laughs> I don't that makes any sense or not. So I need to get downstairs. Uh, did I miss anything? Hmm. I don't know if we can get downstairs or not. Fishing rods. Let's have a quick look outside. Is there a way to go down? Ah, we can squeeze on past. Yes. Look what we found. Was this open? Whoop whoop. Trying to find a key. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's where they could live. Look, he's got it all set up perfectly. He's even got presents here as well. This is kind of weird. This is very weird. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. <laughs> Alright, please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far more from silly. This affects all of us. You have, you'll say we have, what? You say we'll have everything we could ever hoped for. But I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have a silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children lives at a drop of a hat to follow. No matter how much money was involved, I hope for things that money can't buy. Treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl. My relationship with my parents, my siblings. Satisfying work where I get to help people. My children will go up in loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are things that we ask, you're asking me to give up. And for what? Isolation, an unfamiliar place, a leaky boat, money to spend, and what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? Damn. She makes a very good point. 
I can't like. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Yeah, not happening. I can't see myself. I've lived in like this similar area all my life, and I can't imagine me like moving. I am like a sort of, I sort of like being near my parents and being in in, this in, in looks a familiar world. Intense. What's the brushy thing for? I have no idea. Is that an electric razor? I doubt it. A comb? Oh, sorry, I had to cough. Oh, this is the kitchen. Ooh. Coffee can. Is there a key anywhere? Saucepans. I wonder where this pier went. The burglary ring. Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? <sighs> Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware, I think. You think? She never knew Listen, that. It's been a while That's since true. I brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Um, why not? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? <gasps> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <sighs> Maybe not. Like, your secret dad? <laughs> Real life dad? Forks and spoons. Open it then. Maybe I was pressing X too quickly. Dust pen and brush. Oh, oh it's got pretty, pretty nice boat to be honest. Oh, could be used for it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good boat. It's even got a TV. It's got its own bar. <gasps> the key. Aha! Yes. I knew it. Another receipt. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Geez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Is, why is Pierre still alive? There's a chance, right? I know he had a lot of drink, but it's definitely still a chance. <clears throat> Attention, every. Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. I doubt much works here, to be honest. Pierre's coat. A pipe as well. Like tobacco. Smoker. Drinker. Ah, oh, leather. Was there leather here? I didn't realise. Oops. <laughs> right, so I'm hoping the key opens up the door. Typewriter. Seems me, yeah, got some blueprints. What are those blueprints for? Is that just for the boat? Well, nothing yet. Oh, one second. What's this? Another key. 
มัมมัมเลอะอะเกส Was it so that could have been oh question mark at the end I guess so I guess that's it Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place well then why string Pierre along like this for so long he bought a boat and fixed up the kids room and everything maybe she just wasn't sure at first or didn't want to hurt him oh yeah I bet he felt great about reading this. Mm, not great. I received your latest letter, and this is my final response. Oh, wow. Okay. You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did for yourself. You were the one who was unsatisfied with our home and our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless, illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along, I'm not following anymore. You say these are your kids too. Of course they are, but they're my children as well. I'm here for them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up this ruse. But I'm getting used to it, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself. To live in this new life, I am regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. Jesus, she is cold. This could come in handy. Looks like a mailbox key. Huh? <gasps> Didn't we see some mailboxes up by the gate where we came in? Did we? Must admit, I didn't see them. Maybe there's another letter. Yeah, I completely agree with what Helen did, honestly. That completely makes sense. Is a mailbox by the... up here? Is it up there or is it in here? Uh, must be up here. Let's have a look. Is there another letter? Oh, there is, yeah. Mailboxes. What's it gonna be? He may have a stash of money still. Maybe. Um. Ah. It's unopened. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Oh, so it's cracked returned. his bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. It's been here for ages. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's households too. Houseboats too. That's that's a good point. If this guy was your real father, you're the next of kin, so it's fine. If this guy True. was your real father, you're his good next point. of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? I don't know. Probably. Makes sense to me. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. What have we got? Sheriff's department. What was he? What was he doing? Okay. Can you read the letter? To whom it may concern, I now confess. Oh. Oh. He's confirming. He's confessing to the burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one and a half million dollars. Oh my God. I had worked as a property inspector for the county over 10 years um, at a poker game in 1966, a great year, when England won the World Cup. I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given... 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection. He didn't actually do it himself, is that right? As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of this arrangement as they'd threatened not only my safety, but that of my family as well. Seeing no other option, um, oh wow. 
he falsified a death certificate with papers I left from the county office. I left my wife and daughter to cross the border under the assumption under the assumption name sorry assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did, and I wish that I regret having to ask them. What little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife Helen knew nothing about my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the stories of my death because she had no choice. She is innocent. My, wife, my, my decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and my daughter alone. This is my confession. No, so that... One sec. So that is his... The her dad is the right dad. What? 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 So Pierre... Was... Was... My dad? He wrote this whole confession, but... It never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there... I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh... I'm... So my mother wasn't having an affair at all. No, just a, or a different name. Whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. That's kind of mad. Why didn't she say later on in life that you can go and see your dad? What? Why? Mm. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's a lot yeah. to process. I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you'd thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't believe he just abandoned us. All this time, he was here. Uh, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time. He definitely and my gets. mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't, I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Hmm. Wish you could have been there for her. Wish she could have trusted you. Wish she didn't turn out this way. Um. Hmm. Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us. Lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything? Even when we were all grown up. That's what I said. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean, well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess, listen, I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me to find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately, but, but I am so lucky 
to have such an incredible, kind... Oh, Mom. <laughs> beautiful, hard-working... Stop, stop. You'll make me cry. <laughs> Just such an Sorry. amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. <clears throat> right, so I guess we're going to find out what happened between her and Daddy. I guess. Anything in here? Just the receipt still. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. Uh oh I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Oh, here we uh -huh. go. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. Like and for dad. a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was gonna be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool, I guess. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but... He is going for it. Mm, yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders, and he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it, but I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married, said we could make it work, but by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... this was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? Um... No, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just... ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Yeah. Kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry... for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that Dad, like, explained everything to me... in a way that made sense, and... that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't... apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not... 
a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, and that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but... But it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Um... Like doing Kurt? <laughs> what? Like doing Kurt? I'm gonna let that double entendre pass right by me. But yeah, it's hard to let go. To see you as an adult, not just... My baby girl. Mom... You were so cute back then, even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the whole August thing. Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? Um... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What about the Andromeda and Francine? It means starting over, kind of. Yeah, but it could be nice to get a fresh start. We've been through a lot of big changes this year. You've been through so many big changes. But I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it work. I'm confident in that. Yeah, me too. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. You can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. Uh, unneeded. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. She's got a very weird seating position. She's like stuck in the corner, like facing a door. Weird. I guess we did it. A slightly, I don't know, uneventful ending, I guess. Like the whole journey felt a little bit pointless. Is that fair? Uh, very good voice acting. I thought the voice acting was incredibly, incredibly good. Um, the road less travelled. Right, let's have a quick check. Did I miss only one achievement or one trophy? I think I did. Only, I think I only missed one. So I definitely want to try and get that before we are. Uh, End the video. Is it just? Is it just? Is it just one? Is it just the one? I think it is. Yep. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh.
So there's a gold. Yes, yeah, the it's the pills. I saw the pills in the hotel room. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I think the ending was a little bit blase. I don't think it's for this game's for everyone. I quite like sort of narrative games. I get quite sort of hooked in. I, I do love a good story. Uh, that's probably why I like sort of PlayStation. I guess they they do good stories. Um. Be able to skip this? There we go. I want to hopefully skip the chapter and find these pills. That's me goal. Uh, there you are. Chapter selection's now available. So I believe it's the motel chapter. So I put the phone in my pocket. I think. Uh, ah, okay, now we do. So I've, to I've spoken to Francine. Would she now want to hit? There we go. Okay, I think I did it. I think I've done it. I found some pills in my mum's suitcase. So I've done all the, the Francine's text messages. She wants to hear about the room, basically. Um, just found some pills. Kind of weird, right? What are these drugs, by the way? Does anyone know in the comments? But I think this might give us... Maybe stop snooping in your mum's stuff. Fair. Mother's Little Helper. And I think that might be a platinum. All done, baby. That has to be one of the most easiest platinums I've ever got. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And bye-bye.